weird sexual practices in Tanzania, Tanzania. Officially, the United Republic of Tanzania is a country in East Africa within the African Great Lakes region. It is bordered by Uganda to the northwest Kenya to the northeast the Indian Ocean to the east Mozambique and Malawi to the south Zambia to the southwest and Rwanda Burundi and the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the west Mount Kilimanjaro Africa's highest mountain is in northeastern Tanzania according to the 2022 National Census Tanzania has a population of at least 67.4 million Tanzania has over 120 ethnic groups and more than 100 languages the country is known for its vibrant music and dance such as Bongo Flava and Tarab Tanzania has a growing economy with a focus on agriculture, mining and tourism Tanzania is a country with a lot to offer from its stunning natural beauty to its rich cultural heritage. One sexual initiation in Tanzania sexual initiation practices vary across different cultures and communities. For instance, the Maasai people boys and girls undergo separate initiation rites, including circumcision and genital mutilation to mark their transition to adulthood in Yakuza girls undergo a ritual called Kulumbata, where they are taught about sex and relationships by older women in Zaramo boys and girls undergo a ritual called Kumbatia, where they are taught about sex and fertility by older adults, the Chaga people of Tanzania girls undergo a ritual called Kihamba, where they are taught about sex and childbirth by older women. The Sukuma people boys and girls undergo a ritual called Buganji, where they are taught about sex and fertility by older adults. These initiation practices in Tanzania involve teachings about sex relationships and reproductive health rituals to mark the transition from childhood to adulthood guidance from older adults or community leaders cultural and traditional practices to ensure fertility and prosperity Emirata. Emirata is a traditional Maasai coming of age ritual for young men typically between the ages of 15 and 25 this ceremony usually lasts between three to seven days the Emirata circumcision ceremony is the most vital rite of passage in Maasai community the ritual marks an important transition from boyhood to manhood the purpose is to test courage strength and endurance to prove readiness for marriage and adulthood. It is a transition from childhood to manhood young men undergo physical and mental preparation including isolation fasting and training the young men are circumcised by a designated elder marking a significant step towards manhood the initiates are isolated from the community for several days during which they are taught important skills and values the initiates return to the community where they are celebrated and recognized as young men newly circumcised boys wear black until there. Initiation as warriors white chalks are used to draw unique designs on the boys faces and uncircumcised boys is considered to be a child as part of the ritual. The young men are encouraged to have sex with multiple partners often including older women to demonstrate their virility and fertility after. The circumcision the boys are fit to be warriors three Bulongi Bulongi is a term used in Tanzania particularly among the Nyakasa people to describe a traditional practice where sex is used as a form of greeting or bonding between friends or family members the purpose is to strengthen social bonds and friendship to show respect and affection to promote social harmony and cohesion. Bulongi involves intimate contact Often including sex between friends or family members, it's a consensual practice and participants are expected to be willing and comfortable Bulungi is often practiced during special occasions like weddings or initiation rituals. Bulungi is deeply rooted in Nakusa culture and traditions it is seen as a way to promote social unity and cooperation. The practice is valued for its ability to strengthen relationships and foster a sense of community for Kumbatia Kumbatia is a traditional practice among the Zaramo people of Tanzania where sex is used as a form of spiritual healing and cleansing the purpose is to heal spiritual and physical ailments to cleanse individuals of evil spirits or curses to promote spiritual growth and balance Kumbasha involves intimate contact often including sex between a trained healer and the person seeking healing the healer uses their spiritual powers and knowledge to channel healing energy through the sexual act, the practice is often accompanied by rituals, prayers, and offerings to ancestors and spirits. Kumbatia is deeply rooted in Zaramo spiritual beliefs 
and traditions, it is seen as a powerful way to restore balance and harmony in individuals and communities. The practice is valued for its ability to address spiritual and physical ailments. Five Kihamba Kihamba is a traditional practice among the Chaga people of Tanzania, where a woman who has recently given birth is encouraged to have sex with a designated man, often an elder or a traditional healer to promote healing and fertility. The sexual act is believed to promote healing and recovery after childbirth to ensure fertility and lactation. To protect the woman and her child from evil spirits, the designated man, often an elder or healer, has sex with the new mother. The act is believed to transfer spiritual energy and promote healing. The practice is often accompanied by rituals and prayers. Kihamba is deeply rooted in Chaga cultural and spiritual belief. It is seen as a way to ensure the health of the woman and her baby. Six sexual cleansing. Sexual cleansing is a traditional practice in some African cultures, including Tanzania, where a widow is expected to have sex with a designated man, often a relative or a traditional healer, to cleanse her of evil spirits and misfortune. The purpose of sexual cleansing is to remove evil spirits and misfortune associated with the deceased husband, to restore balance and harmony in the widow's life, to ensure the widow's safety and protection the widow has sex with the designated man often in a ritualistic setting the act is believed to transfer the evil spirits from the widow to the man the man may use traditional herbs or rituals to cleanse the widow seven forced marriage forced marriage also known as arranged marriage or compulsory marriage is a practice where one or both parties are coerced into a marriage against their will in tanzania forced marriage is a common practice Forced marriage could be in the form of arranged marriage, where family members choose a spouse without the individual's consent. In Tanzania, traditional beliefs and cultural practices contribute to forced marriage. Marriage is seen as a way to strengthen family and clan bonds, rather than a union between individuals. Men hold significant power and women's autonomy is limited, making it difficult for them to refuse forced marriage. Forced marriage can enhance a family reputation and social standing within the community. Refusing a forced marriage can lead to shame and stigma for the individual and their family. This topic is a sensitive topic and should be approached with a sense of respect and cultural sensitivity. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe for more.